your God, he have many sheep. And you, when, when the Muslim, we say to them, is Allah physical? They say in the beginning, no. All right. Then we come to okay, the okay, conclusion that Allah have a shape. Okay. As long you agree with okay, me that please. Allah, as long you agree Allah have a shape, does that mean Allah, he occupies space? Okay, Prince, Prince. Okay, let, let, let's say I agree with you. Let's say uh, no, Allah no, no, no. I don't want you to let, I don't want you to let, I don't want you to say, let us say, I want you to tell me, do you agree that Allah have a physical shape? Yes or no? After all this conversation. Yeah, uh, going on, going okay. off, uh, okay. the things are are, are read here. All right. Without so, any further information, yes, okay. I would say he has a shape. Wonderful. So now, as long as he has a shape, does that mean Allah is include or inside the space? That I want to be careful of. I don't want to make assumptions like that because it can be pleasant. Well, you said he have a space, a shape. A shape is inside the space. Doesn't it, doesn't it really have to be in a space because God can no, you create have to, everything. No, you can. You cannot. Ha, you cannot have a shape unless you are inside the space because there, there's a there's a space to contain the shape. Yeah, but Allah created a, a lot of wonderful things we we cannot explain, right? You so see, who's saying that the hadith I showed you? The hadith I showed you. Allah come down. From the heaven number seven to the heaven, heaven number one, which is authentic Al Bukhari, confirmed that he is moving between a physical space because heaven one, heaven two, heaven three, heaven four, heaven five, heaven six, heaven seven is a space, correct? If you put it that, if you put it that way, yes. I'm not putting it anyway. He said he come down. It's not me who it's, put it. My friend, I am putting it this way. Or Allah, he, <laughs> I mean, you are making it as it's me who is saying that. It's not Allah. Yeah. Uh, like I said, bro, like without any um, additional okay. interpretation. All right. So Allah, whatever, uh, so I, Allah, yes. all this, Allah, he said on the throne. The throne is a space. The throne is carried by eight angels. The angels are real. The throne is real. Even Allah, he told them because they could not carry the uh, throne. He helped them to carry it. Allah, He is in the top of eight uh, uh, deer, in the top of eight deer, eight deer, sorry, uh, uh, or oh, not deer, sorry, uh, uh, mountain goats. So, all is this physical. Allah, He put His foot in the fire. Allah, He have five fingers, have two hands. Allah changes His shape. Even you Muslim use the word shape. So now, Allah moving between point A and point B. All of this will lead us one thing. Allah can be inside his creation. Yeah. So why you reject Jesus to be God? It's because, well, one, one more reason I can give you already is the fact that uh, I don't think that God, I mean, you know, I mean, let me put it this way. Am I more merciful than a Christian God? What, what? Am I more merciful than the Christian God? More merciful? Yeah. What do you mean? I would say yes. You know why? Why? Not because I want to make fun of Christianity or be blasphemous or respect respecting Christianity. I respect uh -huh. all religions. But I have to be honest on this approach here. I would think, yes, I'm more merciful. The reasons for being is because I have forgiven people in my past that did me wrong. Without the need of blood, without the need of sacrifice, okay. I, just, I simply forgave them. Like the Islamic God is telling us, He can forgive us, like you can forgive someone else. He forgives us. He's the most merciful. So He doesn't need any blood, He doesn't need any mom that's on the cross and being tortured. No, He uh, forgives you. First of all, if you ask, first of all, like, do the Christian believe that God, He called the Jews, says, Hey, kill me? Because I want you to kill me so I can forgive the Christian. Is that what the Christian believe? Uh, what, 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 what do the Christians believe? The Christian believe, according to you, that God, he killed himself. He tortured himself. And yeah. he is not being merciful. Well, this is not what happened. Jesus, he come to this earth. His people rejected him. And his people, they decide... To kill him because he claimed to be well, God. 
Jesus said, oh. nobody can take myself from me, but I lay down myself. So he is merciful to them. In the cross, he says, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Yeah, and he was saying, uh, he was saying, oh God, oh God, why did you forsaken me? No, he was quoting the, he was, no, he was quoting the Old Testament, a prophecy about him, that he, they, they will divide his clothing, they will break the uh, bones, will uh, not breaking, etc. So he was quoting the Old Testament, but I'm, I wanted to focus with me here. You mentioned sacrificing, sacrifice, and you said your God do not need you to sacrifice. Are you sure? Uh, if we take, if we go down to the, the, the story about, about uh, Abraham when he was trying to sacrifice I'm not going, his child. I'm not going to go to Abraham. Okay, no, I was just making sure that you didn't, because I have an explanation for that as well. So, uh, so okay, what, if you don't so what is the then. So what is the occasion of Al-Adha? Isn't it because you ask Allah to forgive you and you sacrifice millions of animals? No, it's not about it's not it's not it's not about a sacrifice that has impact on your uh, afterlife or uh, no, the way you live. No, 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 no. Okay, when you say to me, when you say to me something as a Muslim, you give it to me from knowledge or your own fictions. Well, um, no, I'm gonna by knowledge actually. Uh, the the sacrifice is not in a pagan way. It's something in a pagan way. It's, it's not, not like uh, it's, we, not, it's not like we do this because it's it's, bring, it's taking us to paradise, you know. I okay, I don't understand. You almost them when you sacrifice animals for the purpose of what? Because this is this is like uh, sunnah, you know. We're a prophet. Okay, sunnah. Okay, okay. It's Muhammad he did it. Why Muhammad he did it? Because it's, I don't know why I did it. Ah, so you follow blindly, you do not know what. Uh... Ah, at least I'm being honest. I'm not trying to fabricate stuff here. So. Uh, so, sorry again, what? At least I'm being honest. I'm not trying to fabricate stuff. But, uh, okay, so you know about Christianity and you are sure Jesus is not God, but you do not know. Why you must have sacrifice as something you practice all your life? Oh, I, I never I never told you what I really do know about my religion. My religion uh, because uh, if you allow me to explain. All right. Uh, what, 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 is the, about what is the logic? What is the logic of sacrifice? You said to me that your God is a merciful God, so you do not need to sacrifice to forgive your sin. How a Muslim... You don't need to sacrifice. No, listen, um, you don't need to sacrifice a sheep to get rid of your sins. And even if that's the case, it's still better than sacrificing a human being. Well, it's you, Muslim, who sacrifice a human being. Isn't it your prophet, he said, when you go to jihad and the first drop of your blood come out, you will be in heaven? It's you, Muslims, you believe in sacrificing a human being. God, he did not ask the Christian to kill themselves so they can go no. to heaven. This is Jesus himself was killed. You see? No, you, no, yeah, no, you, no you, 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 Look, 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 look what you did. You are a change in the position. It is not God who say, hey, Christian, go and kill Jesus so I can forgive you. Never happened. Never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same yeah. time, yeah. Same, same yeah. time you Christians, you Muslims, in order to go to heaven, the best of you is the one who shed his blood killing people. I want to ask you on this because you say, you made a claim about the Mujahid stuff, the, the Jahid stuff. Well, uh, uh, Allah does not uh, force you to be a Mujahid and to be dying uh, to be dying as a mujahid it's a choice it's a choice you make yeah, but, gonna, but the best of you who do a, the best of you who do sacrifice a blood of a human being because you kill and you get killed so how you can be the best of how you can be the best of people of heaven there are different ways to be the best i mean not only the mujahid you can you also be the best in faith if you all right do. can Honestly, you can you stand, prove me it, it, can yeah. you prove me wrong that the best of yeah, you is yeah. not the one who do jihad by his blood. Yes, I could. No, let me let me finish what I'm saying. Uh, 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 the mujahid, you can also be dying as a mujahid if you die from internal uh, uh, problems with your body and you die upon it. Let's say cancer, you also die as a mujahid. So you'd be also be considered as the best amongst the Muslims. 
Likewise, if you if you uh, if you involve yourself in, in let's say in charity, you really are and you really are going against your desires. Let's say let's say a gay a gay person that goes against his own desires to do what's right. Let's say he is he's engaging himself. He's marrying a, uh, the, the one from the opposite gender. This is also called a, 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 a shahid. It is, it is a mujahid. It's an act of, of a shahid. So you may also be called as someone that's really that's the best among us because he is okay. Let, going let me ask you desires. why I right. need why I need to shed the blood of somebody so I can be the best of mankind. You are protecting. It's love to you. You are because you because you can protect yourself from no pressure. So if someone is oppressing your family, that's false. You are allowed to that, stand that's up and fight them. Name for me the Christians who attack Muhammad and they try to kill his family. Give me their names. I hear this uh, it's like it's, uh, Yazid, right? Yazid is a Christian. Uh, Yazid, the, the son of Muawiyah. Yazid is Muawiyah. The, the Caliphate is uh, those are Muslims, are Christians. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your prophet says, go and kill the Christians so you can make money. Is that correct? Uh, Muawiya is a, what's a Muslim. What? Right? Muawiya is a Muslim, right? Yeah, he's a Muslim. He's a Sunni. Aren't you a Sunni? Yes. All right. Your God, he made it. He made, uh, uh, you say, you said to me, don't mention to me Abraham. Correct? No, you, know, you can mention it, but then I will explain no, 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 to you on, why it's wrong. Is it your God who made sacrificing blood is the way to approve anything? Yes or no? I, I, I know you want to put it in a Christian sense, but it's not going to work. because well, it's Yes different. or no? It's okay. If I want to prove to you something, and I want to show you that God, he accept me, don't accept you. Is it true that you have to do blood sacrifice? Oh, the only uh, required reason, and the only reason for you to be having this is by fighting the enemy that oppresses your family. I'm not talking about you now. No, first of all, this is false. Because your prophet, he says, oh. I've been commanded. Okay, here we go. You forced me to go there. Let us do it then. Your prophet says, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. Until they say, there's no God but Allah. So the idea and the lie, Muslim, they keep repeating that Allah Prophet, he was just fighting those who they are fighting him, is a big fat lie. None of those people, they fight Muhammad. He sent a letter to the Romans saying, convert or I will kill you. Aslam, Taslam. They did no, not. What about the first? Yes. What about the first? No, Hold no, no, no. on. Because, Hold, uh, okay, listen, listen. Just, Here we go. You're a prophet saying, yeah. I commanded that I should fight against the people, all people, and ask mankind. Till they yeah. declare that there is no God but Allah. So what was the reason uh, to kill them? All mankind. In the Quran, in the Quran, it mentions that there is no compulsion in religion. That is and a false. That is a false statement. The Muslim they used to it. This is about Aisha. She was receiving. Okay, first of all, here. Uh, no, actually, sorry. This one is about the opposite. It's about you cannot force your children not to convert to Islam. Not the Muslim cannot convert to Islam, the different religion. This is why your prophet says, the one who changes religion, kill him. So are you saying to me that Sahih al-Bukhari is lying about your prophet? Isn't it the Quran says, those who they leave Islam, kafir, which means no, kill him? Uh, no, no, uh, the thing is, the thing is, um, the, the, the Prophet Muhammad has found, uh -huh. you, you can find, find him in different occasions when he has actually has this friendship with Christians and Jews. He, I mean, if, matter of fact, he had a Jewish neighbor. Never happened. So, Never happened. I don't, I don't, yeah, yes, I mean, this is, this is a, a famous thing in Islam. We all know this. Okay, hold this on. Is, uh, Yesterday, a Muslim, he told me that there is a Jewish neighbor used to piss on the door of the Prophet and throw garbage. Is that what you are saying? No, I was not, not, not referring to that one specifically. I was, so who, I was, is, who is the, na the Jewish neighbor and what he did to Muhammad? He killed all the Jews. No, 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 no. The reason why, the reason why, there was a treaty. There was a treaty, a war treaty, and they broke it during who? the fighting. No, the, Muhammad the is the one who broke a treaty. 
Muhammad he killed everybody and he is the one who broke the treaty chapter 9 verse number 1 it says Bara'a actually in fact the real name of the chapter is not at Toba. the real name is Bara'a freedom from obligation Bara'a from all the treaty I signed with them and he sent them a warning you have four months four months to leave or I'm going to slaughter every single one of you Like this is not what I was reading. It's in. A, it's not up to you. It's in front of you. It's your prophet who broke the treaty with everybody. No, like uh, I find it hard to to believe that. For now. Okay, when your prophet he said, I showed you something. You if you you did not make a comment. When he said, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam. Okay. No, because it also goes like this. If you kill one innocent human being in Islam, it's like you killed an entire world. So that's, where, where goes this first? That's false. That verse you are mentioning, it was about Moses and the law of the Jews. If you kill one believer, as if you killed all mankind. But if you kill non-believer, there's no penalty for killing non-believers. And what's the point of jizya if you kill all I'm these I'm not talking about jizya. Anyway. Don't change topic. Do you want to challenge oh, me? Do, do you want to challenge me that the verse you just quote for me is not for Muslims, it's for the Jews? No, no, I'm just telling you, it, it makes sense to, to bring up the jizya. Because if you don't, if you, if you kind of kill them anyway, what's the point of you impl implementing jizya? The, the, the reason for the jizya is to make money. <laughs> how, what the Muslim, how the Muslim make money? I don't mostly make money. It's uh -huh. like anybody else. Uh, work, you work. What work? Can be everything else, like except for for uh, alcohol. I mean, for bars and, and disco. You know, like if you what, can what, work, what, you what? can you have can you, can you can you do farming? Farming, you can do farming. You can do whatever. Isn't it? Is, isn't it your prophet? He said, "Those who do farming, Allah will humiliate them." Will bring him unity to them. So if so, so, a Muslim farmer will be humiliated by Allah. You say, yeah, Allah will destroy him for being a farmer. Why? Why? Huh? Why would you think? Well, because why, why Allah, he say? want Allah, he want the criminals, not farmers. Uh, this is uh, I don't I don't know, man. I what never I mean? never ever heard about this. Okay, let me show you the hadith. Here we go. Your prophet is a gang leader and he killed the Christians to make money. In fact, when a group of people they tried to convert to Islam, he forbid them because he said, if we do that, how, who's going to pay us? <laughs> Read carefully. You said you like Al-Bukhari, don't you? This is Al-Bukhari. Read carefully. I saw some article a cultural equipment that said I heard the prophet saying there is no house in which these equipment enters except Allah will cause humiliation to enter it. Hmm. So you said to me why he, this will why Allah will torture the guy who have such a tool. Why? Give me the reason now. I'm listening to you. Uh, oh, you ask someone that never heard about this first. What is what? uh, what? Say. What you ask someone that never heard about this? You heard about nothing I said, and everything I said to you, you never heard about before because this is what you do. You come with, with, with uncommon things to get us out of guard. That's what you do. Well, are you saying to me that you must tell me you follow only what no, is you're common? Not, you're, so, you're not talking, you're not talking to or to uh, Sheikh Rothman. Not talking to, uh, to okay, the other shade. Hold to, on. Uh, yeah, do you do you dare to call Uthman to join us right now? He never spoke to him. Do he, do, do he dare to join us? I will join him. Can he go to Discord? I will go to his Discord. Can we do that? I don't know how you can. Uh, so can don't touch me, with him, so okay. don't mention to me. You, a, you, don't mention to me a potato. He don't dare to speak to me because he knew his size. Your Sheikh Uthman don't even know how to read his Quran. The Muslim, they make tons of videos about him, how he read the Quran. And he claimed to be Sheikh. This guy is an, in fact, Sheikh Uthman, he said, 
that your prophet was pagan and he never heard of Jibreel before and he he's not Abrahamic guys the do you remember the 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 intro, the intro I always I play he said I wish I have it here in this computer he said prophet Muhammad was not Abrahamic but I mean again he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is right because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith the people of Mecca were paid he's not Abrahamic he said that this is your Sheikh Uthman and this is the truth Muhammad never been Abrahamic he is a pagan and he had nothing to do with Ishmael because if he isn't Abrahamic, that means he is not from Ishmael too. He never heard of Jibreel, he said. Your Uthman, he said, that there is many Messiah. He claimed in his religion that not only one person there is a Messiah. And then he brought a book, Muslim book, to speak about something totally else. And he, because he didn't know Arabic, he read that word as Messiah. It was a footnote in the book. But it doesn't say Messiah is a donkey. So now we go back to you until you bring me someone. He is a. So now what you are saying, you are crying. I don't know what are you talking about. You bring me things I never heard of. Is that uh, my you, is that my fault? I mean, uh, no, no. Okay. I will not say it's your fault. So now you tell me. So now, so now you tell me. According to you, you are a growing man. You are not a kid. Why Allah will punish somebody for having an ox to do farming? Give me a reason. Well, the thing that I was saying is, you know very well that you don't have a personal knowledge in front of you, right? What, what? So, you don't have a personal knowledge in front of you, right? That's I the thing. I don't have personal knowledge of what? You don't have a personal knowledge in front of you. Okay. Understand? All right, my friend. You don't have. I'm knowledge. not knowledgeable. All right. Take care. Take a hike.